In the realm of technology and infrastructure, there is a rising concept known as Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Networks, abbreviated as DPIN. It fundamentally challenges the conventional power structures by redistributing control from large corporations to a broader community. DPIN operates by leveraging blockchain technology, acting as a secure digital ledger, to oversee physical systems such as energy grids and storage facilities. Through decentralization, its aim is to enhance transparency and democratize these systems. In a DPIN framework, tangible hardware like sensors and energy generators are interconnected via blockchain. Individuals, termed operators, maintain and oversee this hardware and receive digital tokens as rewards for their contributions to the network. DPIN offers numerous benefits. It facilitates direct peer-to-peer -peer transactions, eliminating intermediaries and reducing expenses. Moreover, its decentralized architecture bolsters security and transparency, ensuring smoother operations. What is up, Theta homies? It is your boy Justin Pacetti back again with another Theta Token video, another Theta Token update. As you can tell with the introduction of this video, we're going to talk about and discuss some of the recent updates when it comes to Theta Network and the whole purpose behind it. I feel like it's getting more traction when you hear more of the decentralized physical infrastructure like you noticed in the introduction of the video, as well as Theta Network being potentially one of those decentralized structures or systems that could be helping the whole future of technology and then just Internet of Things. So really looking forward to seeing here, we're going to go on to Mitch seeing that. Here on October 19th, Mitch Lu posted, Great to see Theta Network Academia Customer Souls Women's University featured in a D-Pin Industry Report by Market Table. Just looking at this introduction here, I'm not going to go down to the end of the article, but if you want to look at it, like I said, as always, all the links videos are down below in the description, along with my Theta Guardian node address, as well as my Elite Edge node address. If you want to stake your Theta tokens to my Guardian or your TPO to my Elite Edge node, if there's room either way because you're gonna help out my channel help out the theta network but overall help yourselves out earn as much t fuel passively as possible and utilize it however you want on theta drop open theta any of the sub chains on theta network or just withdrawing it back to your wallet in addition to what he mentioned here as well just scrolling down just a little bit more seeing a couple of the posts added on it says opportunity to reduce ai research costs in healthcare bioinformatics and finance by 50 to 70 percent while boosting productivity by five powered by theta network highlights the growing academic interest in decentralized AI solutions, further solidifying Theta Network role as a key player in expanding AI and decentralized computing space. So hopefully this in the long run will definitely pay, well hopefully pay off I should say, because Theta Network is incorporating into in all these type of academics, these institutions, Seoul Korea, Seoul Women's Korea, Yanzai, Kais University, and then there's just additional partners hopefully that are going to be onboarded soon. We do know that the Vegas Knights of Las Vegas has been partnered with Theta Network in their AI chatbot and also sponsored on the ice when you see the game live. Going on to this actual post listed here, Theta Labs has partnered with Seoul Women's University to provide decentralized GPU computing power through its Theta Edge Cloud platform. This collaboration aims to reduce AI research costs in fields such as healthcare, bioinformatics, and finance by 50 to 70 percent while simultaneously boosting productivity fivefold. Theta's Edge Cloud scalable GPU resources exemplify how decentralized physical infrastructure networks can solve real world world challenges in AI research by offering affordable and efficient computational power. This partnership also highlights the growing ac academic interest in decentralized AI solutions, further solidifying Theta's role as a key player in expanding AI and decentralized computing space. Kind of the same thing that's posted from Mitch Liu, but I guess it just kind of divides it so that people who don't look at this image or the article actually sees the purpose for Theta Network from Mitch Liu. Here are a couple quotes as you can see. GPU access for AI research is a major financial logistical hurdle Mitch Liu as well as by tapping into the shared resource our students and an academic team are able to focus on pushing the boundaries of AI applications without restraint. Min So Park assistant professor at Seoul Women's University Department of AI. So seen here is a collaboration a partnership just waiting for more potential to be implemented the technology into real life world. So as you can tell also from a previous video that the Shopify type of partner it's a beta testing for one of that gaming platform I believe it was called Soar Gaming if I remember correctly but seeing that type of implementation because Seoul Women's University I believe is also affiliated with that try on that virtual try on with that gaming company but it's just still in beta there's still a lot of things that need to be updated from when I was playing around with it but we shall see how it is in the near future or especially by the end of this year of 2024 I'm hoping for a couple more big announcements and I as soon as I hopefully see them I will announce it on my channel just for you guys so if you haven't yet please hit that like and subscribe button continuing on to another post that we see here
here diving into internet of things stuff i get why thin network will be a big deal now they started with a cool streaming idea but it's morphed into something way bigger their technology could change how we do everything with connected devices is pretty mind-blowing on the future they're heading to or we are heading to deep in crypto and then edge ai so when i click on this image all together it's going to be a little blurry but you can see how the whole infrastructure is going to be it says internet of things you have cars you just have workforce you also have like electricity solar power water cars again energy going on to the edge computing you can see basic analytics data caching and machine to machine learning and then you can see the cloud and data center is just able to divide and conquer that type of information so not everything is in one decentralized or in one centralized location decentralized hopefully to have other type of networks store that type of information whichever is closer and then provide that information that's needed to that individual customer whoever as quickly as possible as efficiently as possible as cost productive as possible so going on to another part as well including here this won't be sustainable for now it's great at some point decentralization is on the way because it looks like from this video it says here elon must set up a hundred thousand nvidia gpus in 19 days while the founder of nvidia jensen huang said it's normally takes about four years to do this we do also know that theta network has been partnered and affiliated with nvidia with their graphics card because that's just some extra computing power that could be utilized for when people aren't using it essentially but we shall see how that technology is going to be growing in the near future especially with ai growing at a pretty quick rate i'd say especially being implemented in the newer iphones and i'm hoping down the road that they'll also be able to use some of the edge cloud the mobile elite boosters or elite or just boosters in general on iphones because we know that samsung has partnered with data network in the past and people are using those edge nodes on their phone using the extra technology the sources the power resources on their phones to earn more c fuel if you haven't used that type of technology yet and you have an android check it out this is just not financial advice though definitely do your own research before downloading any kind of apps or using any kind of investing or just investing in general this is never financial advice definitely do your own research last but not least just something for fun that i do want to add on to as well seen here andrea berry posted yesterday's conversation at the american film convention was so rewarding the audience was standing room only and every attendee was engaged curious and excited to learn about more about film three thanks for being an incredible host david bianchi this was posted on october 18th of 2024 seeing that andrea berry is continuing to branch out and also include more film three space but i'm hoping for bigger partners and bigger film type of company names are affiliated with data network in the near future hopefully when it comes to nft any exclusive membership creators content creators we shall just wait and see how this all pans out in the near future just kind of have to wait but it's just like it's something more extra like i like to add into these videos whenever i see any kind of news that's related to theta network but overall that's all i really have for today's video guys thank you so much if you're an og viewer and subscriber and coming back to the channel as always wouldn't be here without you if you're a new viewer trying to find as much theta news updates nfts or any kind of theta partnerships please hit that like and subscribe on check out all the links down below in the description for all the links i post in this video as well as staking your theta tokens to my guardian node or staking your t fuel tokens to my elite edge node addresses are down below in the description as well because either way you're gonna help on my channel help with a thin network but overall help yourselves out earn as much t fuel passively as possible and utilize it however you want on theta drop open theta any of the sub chains on theta network or just withdrawing them back to your wallet hopefully this whole update with the decentralized physical infrastructure is also known as deep pin pans out but until the next theta video until the next theta update guys it is your boy justin Bassetti. so try to keep up all right deuces